Hi everybody, uh, Françoise Boivin here to uh, chat with you a bit and um, uh, put you up to date to uh, the new fall session coming at in uh, the, the parliament in Parliament. Um, first of all, just a, a quick uh, back uh, back up to uh, to uh, summer 2012. Uh, July, as most of you know, uh, has been pretty hard in my family with the the, the death of my my younger sister. I thank everybody for all your good wishes i mean it really touched me to my heart and helped me pass through those uh, moments that that were very hard and still are very hard to 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 go through um, that being said uh, had to still uh, do a lot of things this summer had lots of activities with uh, with a lot of people uh, from the writing and outside uh, the writing because of my uh, of my uh, uh, responsibilities as justice critic. Uh, always a pleasure to meet with you. You give me uh, a dose of energy like you wouldn't believe. So every time it's probably the most positive uh, aspect of, of, of the life of a politician is to meet with the people from, from, from one's writing. Um, it, it tells you what the real things are and it, it, it shows every day how disconnected uh, the, uh, the present government is from every day's uh, people's preoccupation. Um, the fall session will be pretty, pretty hectic. We um, expect uh, some more bad news from this conservative government that is racking up deficit uh, over deficit. So when you hear that they are good economists, um, I, I, I would just advise to think about good economists that are still racking up the biggest, biggest um, deficit that we've seen in a long time and they might say well it's the uh, world uh, economy um, it's it's still kind of strange that uh, some big corporations in Canada still manage to succeed well in this time of turmoil and I'm thinking of the big banks uh, uh, big Canadian banks who have just racked up something like over 30 some billion dollars uh, a profit profit mind you after charging each of us when we do uh, a business in the uh, interact uh, uh, two bucks two bucks 75 even three bucks 50 just to get uh, a hold of our own own money not their money but our own money that's one one example the big uh, the big oil company and uh, it's not to say that we don't want them to to make profit but at the same time that you're asking every canadians to tighten their bell there's something a bit indecent when you see when you see this and this is not the conservative government is not a government that has at the at, at the front of their file the well-being of 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 quebecers or canadians uh, altogether uh, if you're a friend of the uh, of, of of the government then they might take care of you but otherwise not 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 so much in my justice portfolio i'm, I'm living this for almost every day because every time we had bills in front of our committee and that we were trying to put a bit just one ounce of of good sense in, in in the conservatives mind showing them some some flaws in some of those laws that they were presenting on their so-called law and order bill um, they refuse because they're obstinate and 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 their ide their ideology sometimes is bigger than just plain good hard reason and uh, well the court are starting to tell them one after the other and turning down uh, some parts of, of, of bills that they had adopted and uh, it's going to create a certain certain complication in the justice system and I always say where there's no justice there is no democracy and uh, this is going to be something that we will have to keep an eye uh, pretty clear on but at the same time new democrats are arriving in this parliament uh, ready to face Harper's government but at the same time quite ready to show Canadians what we're all about and how strong we are and how better managers of the economy don't let don't don't listen to the conservatives who who try to play a little trick in everybody's mind and say they're the only ones who can take care of the economy I'm I tend to just say well look at look at the proof look at 
what is facing us right now. Definitely not, uh, not good times. Reviewing of our whole health system that needs changes, but not necessarily changes that will make the core of the system uh, thrown uh, down the bath with, with, uh, uh, with everything they've got. You know that they hate government being involved in any aspect of, of people's life. You might tend to agree, but at the same time, do we want a society that leaves all the, 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 the middle class to fend for themselves while, while the big, big, big uh, uh, corporations take everything? I don't think so. I think we want some, some fair balance, and that's what the New Democrats are going to work for. Work for people first. People first, I think, should always always be at the core of one's program and it is definitely at the core of Tom Mulcair's uh, New Democrats program. So a lot of work for the region, for Gatineau, of course uh, all the cuts in the uh, uh, civil servant, uh, um, this is hurting. We, I heard it, I heard you guys during this summer uh, loud and clear. Um, maybe the population has yet to really realize how much an impact it's going to have once they pass over the, oh, they're all lazy people, they are not. They're offering a service that we as people are beneficiary. Uh, and if they're not there to give the service, well, I wonder who's going to give the service. So at some point in time, it's going to hurt everybody. We're still not over the big cuts from the liberals in the 1990s. So just imagine what we're going to go through. For us in this region, it's our biggest part of our economy. We can't just let it go without doing anything. We have to rise up and we need you to, because while we face the government, the only time we can make him move is if they feel public pressure. With us uh, doing our, the, the, exercising uh, uh, our leadership to put them up to task and with the public behind us, it's incredible what we can make this government do. But well, you need to get up. You need to voice your opinion. You need to answer the call when we call you and we say, we need your help to put that government to task. So um, we will be communicating uh, even more. Also, uh, information that is gonna be uh, quite important for the writing is that every 10 years, the Electoral Commission always does a redistribution of, of, of uh, writing based on population and different factors. Well, the proposal that's on the table for you people in Gatineau, who are actually in the writing of Gatineau, that I am very proud and, and very humble to represent, well, basically what they've done and what they propose to do is take, you all know Montepema, so they took Montepema and eastern part of Montepema and up val de -Mont, up to Notre-Dame-de-la-Salette um, would be a new writing called uh, Petite Nation. And if you happen to live west of Montepema, up to Alonso Bridge, cross Alonso Bridge, go inside part of Hall, uh, up to, I think it's Saint-Raymond, uh, just to give you a bit of a visual, that would become a new writing called Utewe. So, so long get no writing, no more get no writing, no more Hall writing. Uh, welcome to Utewe and Petite Nation, and a weird cut just to uh, satisfy I am not too sure. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to hear your comments. If you hadn't heard about it, I want to hear your comments because we're there to represent you. So it is not my writing, it is your writing. And I represent the people that are allocated to that writing. So um, I leave this to your, to your thought for part of, the, of, of, of this session. Uh, we will be in front of the Commission on the 31st of October, so we have a petition going. Uh, if you want to sign it or anything, feel free to do it. Contact my office, 819-561-5555, and or uh, by uh, internet. Uh, we've got a site, uh, www.francoiseboivin.com. You can always get a lot of information through the internet site. Or if you're my friend on Facebook, and I thank you all for being, a lot of you are because I'm closing in on the maximum number very shortly I'll obtain it. I'll have to think of opening an, a second page, but anyway, a, a second personal page because I like to communicate and share things with you uh, people. So. Uh, Anyway, so there's all type of ways that you can communicate with us. 
or my team, my great team, who's there to help you with whatever questions you might have, uh, be it uh, your job with uh, job loss in the uh, civil servant or the redistribution or any files that concern the federal government, feel free to contact uh, myself or my, 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 my partners in crime that I call them, my, my great, uh, great staff. So anyway, we'll talk soon and uh, hope to see you in, uh, during one of the uh, numerous activities that I participate uh, in uh, in a very near future. Salam. So